for me, Midsummer Night's Dream is the play that has everything, really, of all of Shakespeare's. You know, it's got an equal balance of comedy and high suspense, and is a real emotional journey, so I love the play for that reason. We use musical instruments on stage, along with the acting and singing and the dancing mm. as well. Yeah, so we have like full musical pieces, which are fab, but also underscoring um, under Shakespeare's original work. And because it's Shakespeare, of course, you know, we want to serve it intellectually, um, but we also want the audience to really feel something. And that music, for me, is a direct cut to really helping that kind of full experience. Well, Paul sent me a, um, a playlist originally of songs that he felt were right for the show and had the right feel and the right energy. Um, and then from there I kind of took some of those on and arranged versions of those songs. It's nice because it's a mix of kind of really like soulful music and then there's some really cool kind of 50s and 60s stuff in there as well. I think it has a really um, vibrant way of approaching the text so it adds so much colour to these plays which you think you've seen before. Because it is magical, we're sort of not tied into one particular genre or one age of music. As we go into this magical fairy world, mm. anything's possible really. I think in this production, because of our introduction of um, an ensemble that play instruments and have sign language um, in their skill set, that they're able to um, come up with different offers. It's really ambitious and it's uh, completely different to anything, to any production of A Midsummer Night's Dream ever. I think it's so unique. Because we're exploring it in such a different way, physically, uh, musically, I think it'll just be really, really interesting to see the play and the story being told in this way. It just makes it more for everyone, that everyone can be part of the story and not just people who know what every word means or who've studied it before. And I think that's great. There's no rules to dreams at all. They can be weird and wonderful. And I think we're going down that route, which is really fun and exciting. Yeah, you should come because it's going to be mad. <laughs> this Chan actor's playing 20 characters. Yeah. I think that's reason enough. <laughs> Put the fairies alone. Yeah. <laughs>